Judiciary Committee and Senator, good morning to you. Um, does this work? Bill, they're almost not words in English. Um, the Biden administration, just they just keep on rocking it in the free world. I mean, every single day reality calls and the Biden administration just hangs up. Um, I don't think when moms and dads lie down at night in America and can't sleep, they're worried about clean injection sites and sterile crack pipes. The issue, Mr. President, is crime. The issue, Mr. President, is how to stop it, not how to encourage it. Now, why has crime gone up? I know it's complicated, but I'll tell you a big reason. Um, wokeism now runs in the Democratic family. It practically gallops. And most, not all, but most of our large urban areas are run by woke Democrats. And wokers believe that the criminal is a victim. Wokers believe that when a criminal commits a crime, it's not the criminal's fault. It's the fault of an unfair world. And wokers believe that punishment and prisons and cops just make things worse. And the American people don't believe that. And unless you have the IQ of a garden pest, you know you cannot order a civilized society based on that world view. And that's the problem that we have. Senator, I was, you know, I've, obviously, as you said, it's a complex issue. Um, and I don't have a loved one in my life that um, has one of these addictions and the just say no campaign and the fried egg as your brain really worked on me. And I wonder though if we if we look at this and Health and Human Services says they have this harm reduction plan. These are the details. They want to expand use of fentanyl testing strips, comprehensive HIV services and a syringe program. Maybe that really helps. Widen access to opioid overdose reversal treatments and a stop overdose campaign, which I guess was a public service announcement. But we just had a story that said 100,000 people died of overdoses last year. And I understand if you're on the street, there's one thing. But we also talked to a lot of people where this fentanyl is coming across the border from China to Mexico into the United States. And you have, we had one couple who lost their son on his first experiment. He was killed. And, and these injection sites, one, they're a huge problem for the neighborhoods, but it doesn't do anything to address that problem of the fentanyl coming across the border, sir. No, it doesn't. And, and look, I, I'm all, I've passed bills dealing with, with opioid abuse, uh, and, and we're all concerned about the addiction problem. But you, you want to hit the addiction problem in America a hard lick? Seal the border. Right now, President Biden's policy is this. If you are a Nigerian doctor, or a German machinist who wants to come to America, you have to be vetted for years. But if you're some gangbanger drug dealer uh, who just hops the fence at the border, you're welcome. And we'll fly you anywhere you want in America. Now that's just bone deep down to the marrow stupid. And, and I'm all for helping people with drug addiction. But, but, but we've, the, the way to deal with it Number one is just to secure the border. Will it completely solve the problem? No, but it'll do a lot more than, than uh, safe crack pipes. And, and can I make one more point? This is part of the problem. President Biden talks about all the time about he cares about the, the little guy or the little gal, but he, he just doesn't seem to worry that much about ordinary Americans unless they're part of some minority group that he deems worthy. In this case, uh, crack addicts and crack dealers and meth addicts and meth dealers. He, he has no sense of priority about, about what the American people are worried about when they lie down at night to sleep and they can't. Right. With regard to the border, you're exactly right, sir. Senator, thank you for your thank time. Thank you. Senator Kennedy from Louisiana.